Bro, he did it again. This one's even better. Oh my God. You know, it's funny because uh, if you are an Apple Music subscriber like me, when Heartless came out, that took like, what, 15 to 20 minutes to get up on there. And now Blinding Lights uh, came up like 15 minutes early on Apple Music. Uh, so, uh, yes, it is time. It is time to do another weekend reaction. Thank you for coming back if you saw my Heartless one. I was a little bit worried about uploading that one, but the feedback has been very nice and I greatly appreciate it. But now we're here for Blinding Lights, all right? This one, uh, The weekend, Abel did something funny when he announced this was coming out tonight. We all knew it was coming out tonight, basically, but when he officially announced it, he was like, it's coming out tonight. High quality, because this leaked uh, Tuesday night along with Heartless, but obviously I did not listen to it. I do not listen to leaks. I do not like listening to leaks, but... I have heard some of this because it's in the Mercedes-Benz commercials and, you know, uh, Abel's been like posting them on his Twitter and Instagram. So uh, I've heard some of how it sounds. I like it a lot, but I want to hear the full thing, okay? I'm very excited to hear this one. I hope I like it uh, as much as I like Heartless, because uh, I did like that song quite a bit. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so let's just get right on into it. Okay. All right, y'all. Here we go. Blinding lights by the weekend. First reaction. Uh, let's just go. Okay. This sounds like Twin Peaks. Oh yeah, let's go. Oh fuck, you gotta get, gotta get for this one. <laughs> Yo, this sounds so good. Get out the way, chair. He blessed us again. Oh my god. No, I did not just take away. Those lyrics, I'm gonna read them because I only heard parts of it because I was listening to that instrumental. Bro, that's simply with that bass line. Woo! Okay, we got the share back. Okay. Okay, let's just listen to it. Okay. Let's just let's just fucking see this shit. Okay, blinding lights. Let's just do it again with the lyrics this time. Bro, this fucking intro sounds like some Twin Peaks shit. Sounds like some Twin Peaks goodness. Oh. Oh my god, this is so dope! I just... Listen to it! It's not so good! Oh, these lyrics are... 
evolved his sound so much and these two songs that have come out from this album whatever it is so far literally is the perfect perfect combination of the lyrics of trilogy with the poppy hip-hop mainstream style it's fucking amazing holy fuck this song is better than heartless it was a bad day to wear a long sleeve <laughs> when you're fucking losing your shit oh my god okay Seriously, this song is, this is one of the best songs he's ever done. I, I don't even care. It just came out. I've heard it two times. This is one of the best songs that The Weeknd, Abel McConnell Tesve has ever done. I think it's I say it's but only, I'm sorry if that's not right. So the, first of all, the song is basically about a former lover of his. He's still in love with them. And he's been going through this like withdrawal process of trying to get over them, but he just can't because he misses, you know, the touch, you know, when he's trying to go to bed, you know, and like, you know, like basically like, you know, like the colors of the love have gotten basically like dark and gray because like you to think about it because like he, he says in the lyrics, what's the line? I look around Sin City's cold and empty. No one's around to judge me. I can't sit here when you're gone. I said, Ooh, <laughs> I'm blinded by the lights. Seriously, think about it because like let's just like let's just think about like the, the word like the term like color because you know in Sin City it's all black and white, you know, it's like very noirish. Think about it. Now that his lover's gone, he can't see the color. The color is the happiness. The black and white is, you know, like the depression now that he has with this withdrawal process. Also, something that I didn't mention is that Sin City, you know, like kind of like represents all like like the worst like parts of kind of like like a city. So like, you know, he's also talking about like he's living in a city that like represents like the worst parts of like what like, you know, like gets to him. Um, so like he's trying to live out his life and what I'm mean, assuming it's like LA or something. He, you know, he's having trouble because he doesn't have someone with him, you know, romantically to guide him through that. Like, it's amazing. Also, one more thing I noticed quickly is that I didn't mention this, but like when I was talking like the color aspect, I was gonna bring this up, but when he's talking about the blinding lights, he's like, he's basically the blinding lights is like the sadness that he feels now. Like he can't, he can't see clearly now how to move forward without someone because of the blinding lights, the blinding lights represent, you know, like, you know, the, the pain and sorrow that he's going through because of losing this relationship. Like it's able, like, I love you. And the way that he goes about it in this, like the way he describes it, the, you know, he starts with, I've been trying to call, I've been on my own, I'm, I'm sorry, I've been on my own for long enough. Maybe you can show me how to love, maybe. I'm going through withdrawals. You don't even have to do too much. You can just turn me on with just a touch, baby. And then like I said, I look around and since it's cold and empty, no one's around to judge me. I can't see clearly when you're gone. I said, ooh, I'm blinded by the lights. No, I can't sleep without your touch. I said, ooh, I'm drowning in the night. <laughs> I'm drowning in the night. Because he, you know, Abel does have a lot of nightlife style. And, you know, with that, you know, it's very dark and, you know, it's very cold. And with that, you know, it's like his own feelings get connected to that. And it's like he's drowning and like suffocating in his own world because he can't escape it until he gets a celebration. Like, 
Come on, this is fire! But when I'm like this, you're the only one I trust. I'm running out of time because I can see the sun light up the sky. Oh my God. So I hit the road in overdrive, baby. Oh, the city's cold and empty. No one's around to judge me. I can't see clearly when God has said, by the, uh, by the lights. I'm just walking by to let you know. I can never say it on the phone. We'll never let you go this time. I said, I'm blinded by the lights. Uh, no, I can't see until I feel your touch. And that's the fucking dope, the, the hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 oh my god, and then when it fucking hits in with that synth lead and that bass line and oh, and those drums, oh my god, dude. This is like some fucking dope shit because he's combining his like such great lyrical ability and songwriting ability with this retro synth wave 80s style pop banger. Like, come on. Like, oh, I said, one by by the lights, and no, I can't see until I feel touch. Like, come on. This song is one of the best songs that he's ever written. And you wanna know what's so dope about it? It's like basically the song is just him like talking about how he's lost his, lost his love and he needs to reconnect with them. But here's the thing, if this is on an album, you know that he's gonna continue this narrative throughout that album and whatever, however it ends is how it's gonna end. That story's gonna wrap up. Because cause think about it, like The Weeknd did this on House of Balloons. At the beginning of it, he sounds so heartless and so cold and you know, doing all this partying and you know, uh, being with all these girls and stuff that he's not gonna see anymore and then and then you know later on we get to like wicked games and coming down and the knowing we find out that he does this because he's vulnerable and he needs to distract himself to comfort like you know his own you know spirit like that's why it's about heartless and this is like him going into that even more he's done this before but like i said he keeps doing it in such different ways that is so just like epic and just dope and just like so like creative and just so like authentic it's like like this song is fucking amazing. Like seriously, just to wrap this up, like the freaking, the bass line, like I said, in this, in the synth lead, it just, it sounds just so, just like, like I said, the synth wave type influences. But like I said, that bass line makes it really like groovy and you know, very like, you know, in a way like, like soundscape wise, like it really like fills out the room. It doesn't not sound flat. It sounds very alive and bold. And then you mix it in with the lyrics, it's like, Man, I mean, I don't know if uh, Elangelo did production on this. I know he did it on Harless. I got the mention, which I'm sorry, because he's a fantastic producer, but uh, maybe he did it on this. And if so, whoever produced this, good fucking job, because, oh my God, this shit is so beautiful. Listen, this right here is the weekend at its best. My favorite weekend songs have always been, been the ones that, you know, have this, you know, more like melodic feel to them, but like have this like overall feelingness of like, um, pure, like strong emotion. Well, the songs have like really strong emotion. I think my favorite songs of the weekend are like Lonely Star, uh, Tears in the Rain. And this right here, it reminds me of that because the lyrics, like, just like the way that like he talks about him, himself and the feelings he's going for, then relating it to the instrumental, it's like, it's it's amazing, man. Like, seriously, I'm going to say one last time and then I'll wrap this up, but this is seriously one of the best songs he's ever fucking done. It's it's unbelievably fucking great. I I love this song. It's fucking amazing. Um, And just, oh my God. Th like, <laughs> with this and Heartless, the we this, this may be, be, like, his, like, best, like, lyrical project. Honestly, like, I, seriously, like, or it could be up there at least. It, it's, it's been worth the wait. I, seriously, announce the album, bro. Uh, thank you so much for watching this, uh, you know, first reaction and review to The weekend's uh, Blinding Lights. This song is fucking fantastic, and I hope you liked it too. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, uh, hey, hey, hey. Uh. Also, here's a quick cameo from my cat. Do you have anything to say?